currently a fourth year. I'm going to be old next year. Um, yeah, <laughs> international studies and ethnic studies double major in your student. Um, I'm applying for social awareness coordinator because, one, I, ha I know I haven't been really like involved in the KP space. I identify as a Filipino American, but it hasn't been like a space where I've been like immersed in. But personally, I feel like there's a lot of room for me to grow. Uh, within this space, and I would like to take advantage of that for my fifth year. And being a board member, I think, would actually allow me to really challenge myself in that aspect. And also, the social awareness for a position is actually something that I feel very like related to what my position now. Uh, currently, I'm the political action and awareness coordinator for APSA, and I see a lot of similarities within these two positions. And so, seeing that, I think there's a lot of things I can bring and a lot of things that I can also like adapt to like help facilitate within this space and bring around like critical consciousness. Like, I just definitely see this as a space for me to grow along with everyone else together. Um, and that's really something that I really want to kind of take advantage of and really appreciate during my career. So, opening the floor to Ted. Okay. <laughs> if something like Compton Cookout happened, how would you mobilize KD with other uh, cyclists? Sometimes tensions happen between cyclists. What does allyship mean to you? Okay. So if something like Compton Cookout were to occur again, hopefully not. But um, I think KD's role within the SAC community is very important. I think that as Usually these issues are very triggering, they're very offensive, they're very like racially targeting, and they need to be addressed right away. So I think what needs to occur is kind of like a rallying of the troops, if you would, within SAC community, within like the other core works, and really creating a dialogue and a there's a word for it. Pretty much a timeline, not a timeline, but like a, a way, of, an approach to addressing the issue that brings awareness to the student body and also to UCSC administration because what we need to bring awareness to that level to make sure that there's something wrong with our campus climate. Still go about something wrong with the campus climate that needs to be addressed and it's not being addressed right now. Um, so really mobilizing to, as a reaction to something is very quite difficult to imagine unless it actually happens. Um, like, we, we, don't, we can't really prepare for that because we would like not to prepare for that, right? Um, so, but I think given the knowledge from people coming through the university and people within our spaces, we're able to like figure out ways in which we can actually, can mobilize if the situation like needs for it to happen, right? But the second part, second question, it's about building allyship amongst the different staff work, right? Um, one thing that I really want to focus on is like a lot of outreach. Uh, that's something that I see as not necessarily lacking, but it's very difficult to accomplish because I see, I see board members within their orgs as being very invested within their orgs, but not necessarily amongst across orgs, and that's something that's very like important to me as someone who is very like invested in like community struggles and different, not necessarily like supporting like my own struggles, but also being like an ally to other people and like what they're all about, because that's also very important to them. I know that if I have their back, they will also have my back. And that's something that I really like, would like to really work on and make happen in reaching out to other orgs, uh, if that's the case. Because building allyship and making sure that we're not all on the same page, but we understand each other, really makes us a strong, unified front as like staff, not just as like KP, but you know, with everyone else. Okay. One of the big events that social awareness does is JFAV, but in reality, JFAV is slowly and sadly becoming a fading cause. What other issues in the Filipino community do you plan to advocate and dedicate, dedicate time to? Mm. <coughs> yeah, so personally, I... I'm actually like very interested in like the justice for Filipino American veterans, right? But that is not something that I've actually been like actively seeking knowledge about. Again, that might be a reason why it's considered, you know, not 
has gaining ground or it's like not gaining momentum. Um, so I guess it's not it's important to realize that yes, that is happening, but to not let it get worse. I think it's important to keep on bringing awareness to that because it's a very important thing. It's a lot of people have family members have a lot of history through that, and that's very important to not go like erase or unacknowledge. Um, but so that would be actually like good to like retain, right? Um, other issues, personally, I would like to. Um, I'm actually like really interested in like Filipino American activism. Uh, so I've been like looking at a lot of like uh, organizations within LA and San Diego that are run by Filipino activists, and that's very interesting for me because like these are spaces where Pinais can actually like take uh, agency amongst themselves and do work for like themselves and their community without like without males, without other like types of like governmental institutions. And that's very interesting for me. And what's also interesting is the ways that these organizations like target specifically like topics of like colonization, imperialism, and like marginalization against women. Uh, not just in the US but also like back in the Philippines. And that's very interesting for me. And I guess kind of bringing those issues to light I think are very like important, especially since like the society we live in is very like very heteropatriarchy, very white heteropatriarchy influenced. Um, and bringing uh, awareness and bringing up issues that challenge that through other means is I think very important. Like go through, and I think kind of starting with them because they already have like some foundational grammars that they could like help us out to. Uh, I think it's very like very good for that. Um, seeing as you have two codes where most board members have one or none, how do you think you work with others, and how will you plan to resolve any conflicts that may arise? Uh. I've experienced through my years multiple personalities, multiple working styles, and I have been able to like adapt myself to like make sure that one, we're still friends, right? Like that's the way I see it. like not just be as close, but hopefully like we're invested in the same thing, we're invested in the interest in, 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 in we're interested in the same things. And so because of that, like friendship should like arise from that. And I think Fostering that is very important. So I'm not, I don't just see like just as close, but also as friends. Um, so, but also like getting stuff done along the process is a bit also like part of that, right? So yeah, I've had like different like partners close like all of here. Even like now, I like as I'm also like an HA here. I have like one. To, to, like five different people that have to work with like consistently all the darn time, um, <laughs> but uh, but that's like over there. And but yeah, so I have experience like making sure that whatever that to like make sure that I'm being like conducive, productive in the space, and making sure that like we are able to like get stuff done while also being like you know sensible to everyone else who I'm working with, and making sure that um, I'm not being like stupid and like. Whatever, but yeah, I guess it's something to actually like. Guess like that Myers Briggs test that like what color are you personality thing that's very like it's it's good like gauge to see like compatibility and how to like work around that. But I don't think that's like the end all be all. I think there's different ways to like nav navigate these spaces through which we can actually like make a conducive environment for cooperation and like getting like good results coming out of that. Right? As someone who has not been highly present in this space, how do you intend to engage the GBMers with such heavy topics while you are still technically a fresh person and might experience a much more different transition than others as an upper head, fresh person, and fresh person board member? Um, so, I guess and I guess it's not just like the challenge but the process of like learning through like whatever that challenge entails. Um, so yeah, I realized that as a fifth year, I had different like I'm going to like see this college, like on my way out, and like 
I have like, for the most part, because of like spaces I've gone to, probably more knowledge of understanding of certain particular issues. Um, but also like being new to KP also, even though it, um, I have been in absence for like a while, like those identities, they're similar but they're not like entirely similar, like I realized that. And so like just navigating that and understanding like those relationships are very important to like knowledge, but I don't think it's very like something to limit, right? I, I look past that to like potentials and like possibilities. Uh, so it's about, so the way I see it, it's about like the grander scheme of things. And so with regards to like looking to like if you're acting with GBMers, like I would hope that you would trust me in like spreading knowledge, right? Um, because I'm not just doing this because like what's it called? Because like I feel like I just want to teach y'all, right? Like that's not like that's not the reason why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I'm also invested in the space for me to grow myself because I feel something lacking for me, right? And so I'm hoping to learn from you as you would. Like, I would hope all of you expect to learn from me as well. So that's why I see this as like a very like ladder where like we go at like the same pace. Like it's not just like me teach or like me to learn from you. It's like it's the same thing. We're like it's very reciprocated in like our experiences in growing and learning in this space. Either me to like keep the image or me to take the board itself. So he has one more question. Okay. I saw easy <laughs> or political issues seem a lot seem very scary to a lot of GBMers and newcomers. So how do you plan to overcome these issues and make them feel That is something that's very like it's very real when like engaging in social justice political issues. Um, that's something I'm not gonna lie about. Like when people hear politics, it's a big turnoff for the most part. Um, so I think honestly where it starts off is like not just like sparking the dialogue, but making sure that the language used and creating this dialogue is very like accessible. Because like speaking of like access and retention, like in social justice spaces, there's like access and retention issues within these spaces too, right? And that, I think that a lot of that has to do with like our interactions with each other and like the languages used. So um, I guess creating environments, of course, race based environments, setting and establishing community guidelines is very like necessary to do so for like creating these spaces, but also by creating an environment where we understand that this is a learning process, understand that it's okay to kind of be wrong for like a hot sec, but like learning from that and making and making sure that we're encouraging others to learn from our mistakes and to grow and, grow and be better from that, I think it's very like something that needs to be like established within spaces that are created. So um, that understanding like has to be like set up just like that, like from the very get-go. Um, but yeah, it's very, it's not like a baby step process, but I'm assuming like, yeah, we're in college, you should kind of like, you know, be kind of good about like taking things for initiative for ourselves and like challenging ourselves, but like making sure that it is okay to like be like, take our time in acknowledging and learning particular issues, especially social justice issues, because they are very sensitive, they do take time, but they are also very important, so we don't want to like mess up like going through that process either. Okay, so that was your fifth question. I don't think getting one else out of the Oh, Julian does. Do you, do you yeah. um, in the past, KP has been criticized for not being as involved as a SAC work. What would you do as the um, social act, um, as your physician, what would you do to um, promote uh, SAC in our community and to make sure we're involved with the other SAC on an everyday basis? Um, so, personally, I've actually sat on the SAC committee meetings like two years ago and like kind of like last year. Um, but yeah, SAC is a very like interesting space because one, it's actually an open space, like anybody can actually go in there, so I welcome all of you to like go in there and sit in. You don't have to be a staff board member, like all y'all can go. Um, but it's also a very different space because it does include people from different communities, people who identify differently from each other. But because the stakes involved are very 
high with regards to our positions as marginalized people of color on this campus. Um, that's something that I very like to see. That's something that relates all of us together and like working through these issues, working at issues that kind of affect all of us. I think Zach as it's very necessary because one is it's not even like a recognized entity, it's something that just exists. So with that by that concept it's very radical. And so it's important to continue the existence of SAC to continue working with it, to continue having a working relationship along with everyone else. Because by staying unified through SAC, by staying in relationship with all the other orgs through SAC, that creates our power as like KP, right? Um, because I, personally, I don't see any orgs, any SAC orgs being successful without being united through those shared struggles. I think admin would really, administration would like, love to shut us down, if anything, but um, because SAC is very unified, because it has that core body, it has that strength, it's very powerful and it's important to maintain that. Um, regardless of like, whatever happens, regardless of like, maybe we have like down years, up years, with regards to like memberships in different communities, but it's important to like really engage ourselves in other people's struggles as well as our own, so that we can build that bond with each other.